hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other Stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. Uh, Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Oh, Marvin. Okay. So let's go unlock the doors. Oh, jeez. I'm really hoping my computer doesn't freak the fuck out. It should be fine. It, it, it can run Fallout 4 for a very long time. It should be able to run a PlayStation 1 game, but who the fuck knows? I don't, I don't know. It's a baller ass computer, but sometimes it's finicky. And to be fair, I do have a lot of things open. I have Audacity, I'm using Fraps because it's all I can use to record. I'm, <laughs> I've got like various other programs open. Okay. Let's see what we got going on in here. Absolutely fucking nothing. But you know what? We're gonna put that shit in here because we don't need that. And also, I guess we're gonna combine the last of our ammo together. There we go. Okay. I'm not gonna pick up that note. But the note basically says, hey, the c combination to a safe is a uh, 3622. I think. Hey, look, there's the liquor. <laughs> The head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Oh. But they have ammunition. I will take the ammunition. Hey, blah, 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 blah. There's... Okay. Input. Okay. Buddy. Oh fuck, I didn't I didn't know I did don't lick me. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't lick me. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Forward unto dawn. Okay, let's go in this room. Alright, there's probably notes in here. I'm not going to pick them up. I'm sure they probably talk about I think the note in here I don't know what the note in here talks about. Probably probably things. Is there no ammo in here? Okay, it was pointless to come in here. I thought <sighs> So it's that Resident Evil thing where I played these games so many times I cannot tell you which one is the one that has stuff in it. Like I think Resident Evil 3, there's usually an aid spray at Rede Rebecca's desk. And I think it's the B scenarios where there's ammo in that room. I, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, good. Nope, that's definitely not where I wanted to shoot, but it's fine. We'll shoot there now. 
Excuse me, woman. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm gonna shoot your friend here. Okay. No? Alright. Is your friend dead? I don't know if your friend's dead. He looks super dead. Oh, come on, player. Okay, he's down. He's not dead. Just run around this guy. Get those herbs in a minute. There's a better gun in here. And some ammo. Okay. I'm gonna take this ammo. Cool. Uh, there's definitely nothing in there. Not gonna pick up the fucking things. Gonna use this key. Yep. Give me my new clothes. See, we're learning secrets straight away. Don't pick up any items on the way to the damn police station. And, uh... And you get a cool outfit from Brad. Um... I kind of don't want to throw away these, uh, the bullets in this gun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the bullets in here, and the new gun in here. And then I'm going to go empty this clip into this zombie out here. So I don't waste the bullets. By just leaving them in my box all the time. I click. Alright. So let's switch for that. Take that. Okay. Take these herbies. Yep. I'm gonna combine them. Nope, not. I didn't want to check them. Definitely did not want to do that. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Okay. You're not dead. Would like for you to be dead. She reload? Yeah, she did. Good job. Oh, you probably heard my phone ding right there. That's telling me that I got an email. Don't know what the email's about. It's probably something stupid that I don't care about. Um, I'll do this puzzle in a minute. I don't feel like doing it right now. ammo from over here. Oh fuck, there's not any ammo on Barry's desk, is there? No. God damn it. I was really hoping there was ammo on Barry's desk. And there's not a first aid spray at Rebecca's. Okay. There's definitely... Oh man. Be the grenade launcher. No, it... Yes, it is. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Okay. Um. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay. Where's the lockpick? Why is it not on Jill's desk? There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. Oh, the lockpick is. That's uh. I, why am I reading this? I'm not reading that. Okay. 
Basically, it's Chris's diary, and Chris's diary says, Oh, Claire, I'm sorry I had to leave because I'm Chris. Oh. I think this is a fax from Robert Kendo. That's the guy who died the gun shop earlier. That was his gun shop. His name is Robert Kendo. That was cool. I'm glad we got this medal. So, now, uh, do I have to go? I have to go all the way back. Because I'm pretty sure that door at the end is locked. But I can figure out how we can tell by looking at the map. Hello, map. No, that door is not locked. According to this map. Well, let's go back. Oh. Oh, e oh. It's probably not locked, and there's probably a whole bunch of zombies eating each other in there, actually. Actually, yeah, I didn't check it. Okay, that's why. Lol. JK. I knew it was locked. I need the spade key, and I get that from this metal. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do this puzzle, I guess. How you solve this puzzle is you push these statues. It's very easy. Don't mind me, I'm just clipping through this entire statue constantly. Oh jeez. God, I hope the Resident Evil 2 remake is like this game. At the, uh, at the time I'm recording this, the Resident Evil 2 remake has not come out yet. It's only been announced. And uh, E3 has not happened, so we don't know whether, you know, what they're, if they're going to talk about it at E3. Probably not. No one Cap Capom? Probably not going to talk about it. I would love it if they would talk about it. I would love it a lot. I'd probably poop. I'd be watching E3 and then be like, Oh, I pooped, because Resident Evil 2. <laughs> uh, oh, listen, I will take all the Resident Evil 2. I will take all of it. Give it to me, Resident Evil 2 is delicious. Not my favorite, but I do love Resident Evil 2 a lot. It is a good sequel. So now we gotta go all the way back and there's gonna be a cool thing that happens. Ah, cool thing. And just in case you missed it the first time, secondary cool thing. Oh, yeah, so cool. That scared the poop out of me when I was a kid playing this game. A lot of things in this game scared the poop out of me. Can I grab this herb without that liquor killing me? That'd be really cool. Actually, I'd probably kill that liquor. Have a grenade launcher. <laughs> Hello, liquor. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. Did I kill you? Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Cool. 